Mr. Deputy Prime Minister, Dean Desker, Professor Gunaratna, my friend Mr. Dorsey, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for your kind invitation to address this conference on the role of sports in building community resilience. I am most grateful for this opportunity to share my thoughts and experience with you. Dear friends, your conference tackles an important and global reality that we face across the board, regardless of our race, religion, gender or political inclinations. Extremism is a phenomenon that threatens our common humanity and constantly challenges our potential to develop and progress. It is anathema to the most basic human values that we must not only uphold, but protect and promote. Respect and dignity. This is where sports plays a key role. Throughout my career in football as president of both the Jordan Football Association and the West Asian Football Federation, I have witnessed firsthand the power of this beautiful sport in engaging our youth, empowering local communities and developing pride on the individual and national levels. This is the essence of building community resilience. Sports in general, and football in particular, has the potential to transform lives, especially if introduced and promoted at the grassroots level amongst our youth, which in turn represents the majority of our population in Asia. Through football, our youth experience the spirit of teamwork and fraternity, but also develop their own individuality by taking responsibility for their choices and actions towards their teammates and the opposing team on the field. These are rules and regulations to be respected and followed, thereby instilling a sense of duty and respect towards others, increasing tolerance and promoting coexistence. Recognizing the importance of the role sports can play, we have focused on youth development projects at the Jordan Football Association, through youth centers and football academies for our young boys and girls. Our grassroots development program focuses on football as a tool to ensure the health of our youth and develop our next generation of players. In addition to its own development programs, our Football Association supports civil society initiatives such as LG Harat League, an admirable project organized by a local NGO in cooperation with public sector entities. The project aims to promote road safety, especially in disadvantaged neighborhoods where children have no access to playgrounds, by organizing a national championship for 500 teams representing their neighborhoods across Jordan. I've seen the excitement of the players at the final game. They felt a sense of purpose and pride. I have recently completed a tour of more than 22 sports clubs across Jordan in an effort to assess their needs. It is to my disappointment, the missing link in the football equation is the government. Our governments must step forward to serve local communities by building the necessary sports infrastructure for these clubs, starting with those who need it the most. By doing so, governments would essentially be addressing the needs of our youth, empowering our boys and girls, and giving them opportunities to realize their potential. It is their duty. Dear friends, today many of Jordan's players are graduates of our youth programs from all across the country. They are our national pride, and their achievements on the field, whether in a friendly match, or in a regional championship, bring all Jordanians together in celebration, lifting spirits and giving people hope. Moreover, our national teams are our ambassadors. As the most popular game worldwide, football plays an important role in strengthening relations between nations and people of different cultures and backgrounds, thereby promoting respect, coexistence and acceptance. These values, as I mentioned earlier, constitute the building blocks of community resilience. Ladies and gentlemen, today in my capacity as FIFA Vice President, I will work tirelessly to develop and upgrade football across Asia. I hope to contribute to the Asian football family by engaging all the stakeholders, football associations, governments, civil society and the private sector. It is our responsibility 
to serve, and I personally am fully committed to realizing the vision I outlined during my election campaign. Through the Asian Football Development Project, I will work on implementing the four pillars of my program. Representing the interests of all Asian football associations at FIFA, youth development, empowerment of women, and the protection and development of football. The Asian Football Development Project will play a proactive role in promoting football programs focusing on education and holistic health for youth and the participation of all sectors of society, including women. If there is anything I have learned during my career in football, it is that this beautiful game is an excellent platform through which many kinds of social and developmental objectives can be achieved. Football can clearly function as a catalyst for social, cultural and economic development, and most importantly, for building stronger communities based on respect, human dignity and coexistence. Dear friends, the purpose of today's meeting is to address the challenges our communities face, brainstorm possible solutions and exchange experiences. Football is my experience. It is one powerful medium, but it does not work in a vacuum. We are all stakeholders and we must work together to engage, empower and move our societies forward. Thank you. I wish you a successful conference.